Okay, so we'll just put it behind you. What you do is program to make these things move. Later in the future, when we understand all the concepts of the pieces, then we could make robots. You make these things do your homework. <laughs> STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM is, a, is an important program where you get to practice critical thinking, exercising your brain, and just having fun. I think the STEM program is a big plus point. I think all schools should have it um, because it just makes the kids think in a different way, think out of the box. Because of the foundation funding, we've been able to accelerate this, this STEM initiative from three schools to 10 schools and next year, 17 schools. I decided like I want to like be a coding engineer. I want to be a mathematician. I want to be um, an engineering builder. There's jobs that we probably can't even imagine that we are preparing our kids for. I would like to be an engineer and create a flying car or something. What else could you attach to this to change for when it will start moving? It's about reaching all kids and it's about recognizing that our traditional science curriculum didn't necessarily do that. STEM is important because it's basically a program that helps you like do other things that like leads to different paths. It helps with learning processes. It can lead to other careers. And in the careers, you have to know how to like fix a problem maybe. And it's fun. What are you making for your roof to see if, to keep the rain out? The professional development portion is critical for our teaching staff to understand the components of STEM. Uh, learn how to use best instructional practices to make those experiences come to life for our kids. The BeeBot is um, a coding device. You have to press the codes. You can code it to go through a maze. And then if you press go, then it starts going. It's like following your direction. Go. Only about 35% of teachers indicated comfort with teaching science and engineering. After providing a year of professional development to those teachers, those of say, saying that they were more comfortable with science and engineering was 90%. The foundation and the community support that we receive really allows the Bellevue School District to be on the cutting edge of um, instruction and best practice and integration of technology um, for our students. It helps um, you learn about the virtues of patience, perseverance, and bravery you know, brave enough to admit it if you make a mistake. Articulated. Experience. Canopy and suspension line length. Opposable. Well, I do like the word membrane. Intensity. I've learned definition. Handsome. Essentially, project readiness is providing Stevenson with instructional assistance in the classroom. You use your mouth. It allows the teacher to be able to pull small groups of students or to even be able to work one on one with students when needed to work on very specific reading skills and strategies. Out at T, my reading goals are to get higher scores, to understand the words while I'm reading. I like how I learn about the things that's in the books. Oh, Mandy, what did you say? Um, Arthur was rude to him because... A program like Project Readiness where it uh, takes the so kids from the earliest cool. experience. You're getting the children at the youngest okay. level so they're not falling behind. If a shock is nearby. We know that getting all third graders to read a proficiency starts before they get to third grade. So every child has the ability to learn. They just need to have the right support and program to help them. I like reading books a lot because it tells me about like the characters and what I love about reading is it tells me where they came from. I love about reading is for like what like the setting or books that I like. It's very fun and makes my brain more like light, more smart. This is my fourth year as principal at Stevenson. In 2011, 
Just 58% of our third graders were able to pass the state reading assessment, the MSP. And this past year, in 2014, 85% of our third graders passed the state reading assessment. And that's huge. If I be a good reader, I like want to know all about words and uh, try my best to know what, what hard words mean. Education is a great equalizer. You know, it makes everybody have the same opportunities later in life. I know because I'm a refugee and I came to this country without speaking English and education was what made the big difference. The teachers and I know that our big audacious goal to get to 100% of every child reading at proficiency, we're not doing that alone. It's kind of a chain reaction. If you grab one child and help them, that spreads everywhere. Students who come from very diverse backgrounds, who nationally are seen in an academic achievement gap, over time and continued support, we've really seen that gap close. The Bellevue Schools Foundation, it strives to um, educate the complete child. They're present, they're present to help at every single step, and they realize the importance of, of helping every child. One of the inspiring things about Bellevue is we believe in every child and the potential of every child. And alone, as teachers and principals, we can't reach the goals alone. And the support of the Bellevue Schools Foundation is critical to allowing all students, each and every student within the Bellevue School District, to be able to think about, I am a scientist, I'm a mathematician, I know how to design and build a bridge. I'm an engineer. A community that's, that's rich in education is rich for everyone.